guess what? I got a fever. And the only prescription is more cowbell. Hey everybody, it's Hallie O'Brien and welcome to the Snow Report presented by Ski Magazine. It is Wednesday, March 15th and we've got moose on the loose just about everywhere. This one's at Breckenridge, check this out. He's just charging down the hill as if someone told him that there's 50% off all shot skis at the base. Then there's this moose at Alieska. He's just hanging out by the slow sign. Check out the skier that comes around the corner. He's like, whoa! <laughs> he would have blown right past that slow sign. He was not slowing down at all, but moose ambassador stopped him right in his tracks. In other news, there is a giant storm hitting the entire East Coast. It is the biggest storm of the season. Inside of Stella, the Stella, are Stella. A winter storm warning is in effect. Everybody that skis and snowboards is like, Stella! And then there's people like this who don't like winter whatsoever. 12 to 18 inches of snow means we run the risk of the apocalypse. Sorry. All right, so don't hate me, but what I'm about to show you is very graphic and so definitely gross. This guy was tree skiing at Jackson Hole and he took it very literally right to the face. That's through his lip. He's okay though. Believe it or not, it just took a few stitches to fix them all up. Damn millennials and their man buns and now they're all organic free range lip piercings. So I'm here in Aspen for the Audi FIS Ski World Cup final and it's a big deal. This is the first time in 20 years that the United States has hosted a final. This is where the top 25 racers in the world are going to be competing in the downhill, the super G, the slalom and the giant slalom all in hopes of coming home with the crystal globe trophy. And if you're here at the World Cup, you have to be ready to cheer your face off using the world's number one noisemaker, the cowbell. Presenting World Cup cowbell etiquette. You're welcome. Well, step number one is to have a cowbell. Number two, style points. Now there's really no wrong way to do a cowbell, but there are some that are super popular and have dubbed themselves nicknames. We've got the town crier. We've got the happy wag. Then there's the livestock, you know, just be one with the cow. There's the too cool for school. And on the flip side, there's the super fan. Yep, any one of those, you're golden. Number three is all about the BPM. Nope, not beats per minute, bells per minute. The faster the skier, the higher the BPM. Oh, that's a good one. Number four, quiet hours. There are none but you should be considerate if you have a neighbor that needs to catch up on their shut-eye. Just put the bell on mute. See, it works so great. Number five, the golden rule. There are no rules, just have fun. Show your enthusiasm. All right, if you like this video, click that like button, share it around to a friend who will like it too, and in the comments below, let us know what your cowbell etiquette is. I'm Hallie O'Brien, this is The Snow Report presented by Ski Magazine, and I will see you next time. I'll have a snow report, please. 100 points. Tiny model jet, 100 points. Two points, two points, two points, two points. Teeny tiny plane, half a point. Two points, two points, two points, two points, two points. Two points. Very important people, check. Let's get a head count. Two points, two points, carry the two. It's an even number. 50 points for the outdoor bar, another 10 points for the very specific genre of pickles, and I'll have a snow report, please. Yeah.